Hello everybody, I'm Stella. Hi. I'm Tarrant. From Nippon University. Welcome to our live stream and optionally play a lot of Cartographer Zeros. So um, hopefully you um, you know you're ready to have your old we're not using the new map, so you're using the cartographer's map side A, which is just bring it over. Yep, so this is um yeah, Cartographer's Heroes. It is the new expansion or version mm -hmm. of Cartographers, mm -hmm. standalone or expandable into the original game. Yo. And yeah, a new new life and new complexities and challenges in one of the classic roll and write styles of game of any time. This is actually one of our top ten games of 2019. And I'm um, so excited. We've got Cartographer's Heroes, which we are going to use some of the elements here to play along and show and play along with you. Um, obviously, this can be mixed, as Terence said, I believe, earlier with the old photographers. Hence, we're using map A, side A. Yes, side A, the basic map from the original game. Which is this one. Yes. So it has no... This is the map with no special features. Yep. Um, and yeah, if you've got this, you can play along mm -hmm. and compare your scores with us. Yes. We are going to use the solo... Uh, the solo monster rules. Yes, absolutely. So that you can play along. So uh, a few admin things I have to uh, do first. So uh, we are giving away a copy of Guitar Rivers Heroes, which is, I believe, is a pledge. Thanks to Thunderworks Games. Yes. Uh, when it is fulfilled, though, so not now, when it is fulfilled, um, you get a, um, a copy of this. Woo! Exciting. And which bring us to... Uh, our special guests today. We have a few special guests today hanging around the chat room. The first one is Tim from Thunderworks Games. Woo! Hi Tim. So, hey Tim, thank you for joining us. <clears throat> so, if um, anyone has got some questions about the pledge or anything, rules, questions, we try to help and Tim can also help. And um, before we saying hello to the, um, the rest of the guys that's uh, popping around in the chat room, which is fun. Um, I would like to um, mention that we have special um, guests today that are helping us also moderating uh, the the chat mm -hmm. and they are also in Melbourne so same time zone um, yeah. although you know we can't really see because we're still in a little, little bit of lockdown and that is Thinker Theme. Hello. So Amy and Maggie uh, from Thinker Themes, who's also got a YouTube channel, um, you know, um, relatively new. So uh, check them out and subscribe to them. Subscribe to them. Give them support. Um, they um, are a lovely couple, Amy and Maggie, and I would like to, obviously, um, fellow Melbanian, Australian, like to try to support each other. So um, that's it. So I'm just going now to say hello. Um, the chat room is very active, so I'm going to pop that out. Now, we are multi-streaming these two um, as usual. So our main, main one is YouTube, but our Twitch, uh, sorry, our Twitch and Board Game Arena is Twitch. And um, Twitter, Facebook, uh, not Instagram. I can't work it out with the thingy. <laughs> Hopefully yeah. everyone can hear me, you by the, the way. full screen for this one. Yeah. So saying hello to, obviously, Thinker Team. Uh, I can see that. Um, team that showed uh, uh, Eclectic Camel. Hello. Uh, N20 Games, which is Carl. Uh, is this where I put my pizza order? Um, maybe Thinker Team, I can help you with that. <laughs> <laughs> That's where they're for, right? <laughs> no, not really. No. Sorry. I'll keep going. Um, the Charles last. Good morning. Um, I will need to scroll down. Good morning, fellow Australian. Oh, so the Charles last is an Australian. Awesome. Jen Bart. Hello. Um, wow. Well, also, the Charles last from Melbourne, from Melbourne as well. So we're all in Melbourne. Um, and we've got, I think we've mentioned um, uh, Thai, Thai Napier as well. Mm, hopefully, I don't miss anyone, anything. Can uh, Jen? Is it Jen that we met at New York? Jen, please acknowledge your best. <laughs> <laughs> Jen likes Terence Tom. Yes, I'm. Um, I don't have the knees or effort for a good run. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been cycling as well. Yeah. I don't know what you've been doing. I actually um, saw a post on Twitter this morning from somebody that uh, mentioned that they trying to get you know um a little bit tired of the lockdown like all the cinemas are closed and everything 
and that is understandable if you obviously feel like that a little bit we feel like that a little bit in lockdown um we've got board games that helps us occupy ourselves um we've got netflix and amazon prime and whatever else else yeah. that is yeah that's it actually just limit to two subscription tv um and we busy ourselves with board games with video making yes yeah and terence is doing wikipedia writing so. Another another hobby to keep my mind yeah. sharp. Oh no, sorry, it's a different gem. Sorry, I thought that's a gem. Hello, <laughs> hopefully we can meet in the physical convention. Um, Carl can't stay long distance, which is okay. Oh right. Oh, so Melbourne, Florida. <laughs> Hang on, is it Melbourne, Australia, or Melbourne, Florida? <laughs> and hello, Nathan. Hey. No, you're not late. We uh, just about to start. Yep. Now, um, we're going to. I don't know if you have played photographers before, so I'll. It's, it's not really that hard anyway to explain and we can just explain as we go along um and we will you know disney yeah sorry we um haven't actually decided to get disney plus subscription yet uh electric claim will ask what are the solar monster rule we're gonna explain that yeah there yeah. is essentially a um each monster has a method for how you determine where to place it. yes 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 all right not quite as fun as mm -hmm. trying to ruin the other players board mm -hmm. with the monsters but yep. uh yeah, it uh, it still works. Yeah. So um, thanks for thinking, Thema, for um, mining, uh, mining, ma uh, womaning, manning. Well, no, well, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? moderating. Uh, moderating our board game arena um, Twitch chat as well. I can see that. Say hello, Frank Cobble. Oh, they're really nice. Thank you. Mm. Um, now, if you've been to our live stream before with the giveaway, yes, we have giveaway, but we're doing it different this time, which is filling up a form. I'm gonna get this um, out at front and then I'll do it a little bit later as well. So um, I will show you the place that you can go to to fill up. So uh, you need to go to mibbleuniversity.com slash giveaway and fill in, fill in the password as Nalos, which is where this is happening. Is the, the, Heroes the world. universe of the uh, the role player universe. The role player universe. Nalos. That's correct. Now, that's correct. Thank you. So, role, role player adventures and the role players and everything. Yes. So, um, lock up as well. Hmm? And lock up. Lock up. That's right. We played it. That's good. And that's um. I'm gonna bring it again. So that's um the form that you need to fill up. Feel free to head there and then fill it up. Um, and we'll draw it at the end of the live playthrough. So Taran, let's take it with um, take it with explanation. Yeah. So uh, we are set up here, as we said before. We are playing with the basic map from the original cartographers, uh, so that anyone who has the game can play along with it. Uh, but there are new maps that will come with heroes that include some different wasteland configurations and even a volcano in uh, one of them, which will yes. start to erupt and spew mm -hmm. forth through the game. But we're not playing with the volcano today. Mm -hmm. Just the basic map. With colouring pencils. And I mean, use, markers. Yep, we're going to use some colours to uh, make it all pop. Um, the, I mean, the fundamentals of the hero's rules are the same as the base rules. Um, but there are a few key differences that we need to explain before we can get going. So mm -hmm. the first thing is that uh, you don't need to worry about the ruins. There are no ruins cards in heroes yeah. so ignore the ruins you can uh, go over them at will mm -hmm. okay um the second thing that's new is that the monsters come with different powers and so we will um i'll show i'll show you one of them and we'll leave the rest a secret so we've got the dragon here, for example. So each of when you draw a monster, you have to put the the letter representing the monster, so you know which monster's which. We can zoom in on that. Uh, uh, leave it where it is. Okay yeah. then. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good day. Yeah. Um, and so the dragon, for example, uh, when you destroy everything around the dragon, mm -hmm. then you gain a bonus of coins. So yeah, the dragon is good. From that perspective you can get some benefit out of it if you target slaying the dragon yeah so there are a few things to uh to watch out for there with mm -hmm. the monsters mm -hmm. the other thing that's added is the heroes so who's going to slay these monsters the heroes are and so heroes 
will be a card like this. Each hero is drawn only on a single space mm -hmm. and will uh, slay any monster squares in some configuration around it. So this one here, Dal of Joylev, would fill one space and then each diagonal space you would put a hit mark in and if any monsters are in that hit mark, they those spaces get destroyed and then they no longer contribute negatively to your score at the end of each round. Um, from a definition perspective, these hit spaces are not filled, mm -hmm. so you can still put terrains over the top of them. And if you get a hit space overlapping a monster space, that space is destroyed and you put a big X through it, but it still qualifies as um still qualifies as filled if it's destroyed yeah and that's important for some of the scoring so like the monsters the heroes will get added into the deck one per season and what are these so nathan mentioned it's uh, skill cards uh skill cards so skill cards are the last new addition that we're playing with today so there are three skill cards and they each come with a cost shown in the top corner one three and one and that is a cost in coins so once per season which means up to four times during the game you can spend the number of coins shown in the corner so you have to have gained the coins on your track and then you cross those coins out to indicate that you've spent them meaning you won't score them anymore and you can do the effect that's shown on the skill bye carl yeah bye carl so that's, yeah, once per season, you can choose one of the skills. Um, so we've got Disguise. So in Disguise, you can spend one coin. And in addition to, so it's during the draw phase, and it's in addition to whatever is written on the card. Is it in addition? During the draw phase, draw one by one space that is considered both forest and water. Yes, in addition. Yes. Because there's another card that instead of, it yes. plays instead of. Yep, so... This can be a useful way to... How about if I zoom that in even further? Yeah, let's zoom that in further. Okay. I'll show you the picture there. Yep, so during the draw phase, in addition to whatever comes out on the card, you can draw a one by one square that is both forest and water for the purposes of scoring. Okay, so that will cost you one coin. They can't which see could be. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> because the features, they can't see your fingers. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> um, yes, this is a still frame. Yeah. Uh, the middle one, Haggle, costs three coins. So definitely keep in mind that if you do this on round one, you're costing yourself a total of 12 points. Oh, so yeah. make sure it's worth it. Uh, but Haggle is you can spend three coins and during the draw phase, draw both of the options that appear on the Explore card. Mm -hmm. And then the last one is Manipulate. Uh, it costs you one coin. And then during the draw phase, as long as it's not an ambush card or a monster card, you can break the chosen shape into two bits Ooh. and draw each bit separately. That would be handy. So that gives you a nice little bit of flexibility. Okay, so yes, key rules with those. Once per season, costs the amount of coins shown in the corner and you cross them off on your coin list. Okay, back to our life things. Yes. yes. So those are all the new rules. All that remains is to go through the new uh, objectives. So I've got a whole lot of new objectives as well I'll that put it come with again. heroes. So these are objectives you won't have seen before. And I've had a quick peek at these in advance, and we've uh, and we learned this from our other game of heroes as well. I think they're more challenging. I think so too. I think there's a lot more that wants you to leave open space, and that makes the that makes the game harder. Three, so, three, um, uh, score a point or something for open space yeah we had one for chunks of open yeah. space it was three but i'll go through the ones we're playing with today so a and or a which will be rounds one and four freylund now you'll earn six stars for each cluster of farm spaces which is adjacent to three or more water spaces gosh so remember that adjacency in this game is orthogonal only yeah um farm and water is always they always come together in an objective so here you want each separate cluster of farm spaces if it's adjacent to three or more water spaces gain six stars 
Got it. So big, uh, big points all at but once. It's a little bit hard. I can see that. So thumb next to water, but water has to be minimum three. Yes. Got it. Silos, which sounds even harder for for uh, rounds one and two. So I don't know how we're going to go with this one. <laughs> so silos is you want to find your odd numbered columns, and if the column is completely filled, you get ten stars. Odd number, okay, one, three, five, yeah. and so on. Got it. So remember that uh, filled is anything with a terrain, a mountain, a monster, or a destroyed monster. Okay. But not a hero's hit marker if it hasn't destroyed a monster. Okay. Okay. The third objective, the C, C yeah. the outer enclave. So you pick a single cluster of your village spaces and score one star for each empty square adjacent to it. Mm -hmm. So only one of your village clusters will score. So I guess you want a big, sprawling, oddly shaped uh, village that is that has nothing tessellating with it. Uh, say again, so N1 reputation star for each empty space around any single cluster of village. Okay. Yep, so choose one village cluster. If you've got multiple village clusters, you choose one of them. And each empty space hmm. adjacent to that cluster scores a point. So a mountain is not empty. Mountain Most is not empty. But, well, that's going to be hard for uh, like on sea ish. I mean, if it's yeah. at the start, it might be easier yeah. to score. It's is. also in direct opposition to silos. Yeah. So got to mm. make your pick there. Yeah. And then D is heart of the forest. Three stars for each forest space, which is surrounded on all four sides by other forest or the edge of the map. Got it. So you want to go deep into the forest for that one. Heart of the forest, hence the name. Yes. Yeah. So uh, the objectives which score will be, it's the same method as in the base game. So we'll score objectives A and B in round one, B and C in round two, C and D in round three, and D and A in round four. So we've got, we've named our um, city here. So I'm is. Karen actually uh, drew this for me. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Universityville. And Bogafra is me, Stella. Title is The Wise. Aww. I didn't actually name myself The Wise. Like, I wouldn't yes, name you, you were The do, Wise. You were doing wise things in uh, <laughs> setting up the technical side while I was drawing pictures. So, so what's yours? Seemed appropriate. I'm Parent the Spell. Um, and what's, what's the spell? I don't really know, but it's a cool word. <laughs> and I'm in Meeplesburg, so got Meeplesburg and University Bill. Okay, very good. And then that little Meeple University logo there, very good. And we've got the, our coloring pencil ready. As yep. Meeple, I'm just saying hello now. Hello, hello, hello. I think um, I missed a few here. So um, thank you for helping us now um, doing the, the chat thingy. Uh, doing the chat thingy. I love Meeple <laughs> Overboard. And uh, oh, brain, brain, yes. Bought James Alliant and um, I think also Derek. Hello, Derek. Is it Derek that I met at conventions? Uh, I played a few times for the new set, Great Edition. Yes. All right. Um, we'll walk you through the rules for placing monsters by solo rules uh, when, when it, it comes, comes to up. it. Yeah. But yeah, in it's going to keep the monsters towards the edge of your map because generally it's going to pick one of the corners and mm. then you then you go along. From that corner until mm -hmm. it uh, until it fits. Basically. So there's one more thing that I want to say. If you want to share what your map looks like to the audience, I have actually set up a Discord here. Ooh. Yeah. Sorry. So, um, <laughs> Karen, come here. So uh, jump into the description of this video, join the Discord, and then find that channel there you see at the top there, Cryptographers Dash Heroes, and you can post your map tag you know a selfie um it will be shown here so if you would like um just pre-warning you can take your face take the the map or um anything pg related <laughs> i just have to, <laughs> just have to remind people um i mean like game related i should say and then post it there and then we 
we all see that there so i'm just testing it here say hello here you go it works so um i'll be switching back and forth with that one once i've got more stuff and that's how we're gonna draw as well um so there aren't does anyone else feels like the star values on the objectives are lower do you feel like that um certainly on these one i mean there's a couple here and the other times we've played as well there's a couple where you get a bigger hit of points all at once yeah um so it can be a lot more you know, boom or bust I guess. yes yes all right i think we've described yes. enough let's get into it yep if you have any questions let us know and i can see uh people's entry which is good so i'm going to show that as well and you can see um on my phone later uh, which one's number one and that's what we're counting together this time so okay the one that never comes up when you need it to has come up first Kethra the great Kethra's gates one square of any wow. anything you is want this new? uh there was and there was one of these in the base game as well mm -hmm. it almost you always need it just to finish that thing off and it just never comes up but and not to start to start it's uh it's it's pretty, not really useless. yeah <laughs> sorry it's not the game it's just there and straw <laughs> uh all right what else? well you can draw the monster as well so how does that work i wonder i'm guessing that yeah i'm not sure why you'd want to draw a monster i'm guessing I mean, Tim for, can help us. i'm guessing yeah. it foreshadows a potential expansion hello rain and Thorin. yeah hello we've got think athema for those who just join us uh, that helped us with the um moderating chat a little bit um and if you have maybe if you have questions for us maybe um write it all in caps so i can like oh yeah question for us um hopefully I, I i'm sure i'll probably miss um some people but hello everybody draw your square all right yeah oh your forest is looking good all right so these are these two are the these two are the current objectives hmm. Kralin and Simon. i think i want to go differently from town that's good that'll make it more entertaining that's true <laughs> otherwise you'd have to be stellar the copier Copy. Well, technically you have to do it simultaneously right so without actually thinking about it too much i'm gonna just draw a blue square here yeah 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 that's it okay <laughs> next is everyone's playing along uh oh nathan's already scored 4789 points well done <laughs> i think he's lying <laughs> uh so yeah. obviously this optional you can play along and pause and you can if you can if you want and somebody say um thumbs up on the on the discord it's good so it's optional to play along but um yeah you can kind of feel how focus first heroes is if you like okay we've got a hillside terrace hmm what is my farm color you give me brown yellow you want a brown one? Yes, please. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Let's just bring the whole lot and then put it in. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Put that yellow aside. All right. Part of the fun is the coloring. This is all about do I think more water or mm -hmm. uh, farm is going to come out? Mm -hmm. I know. That, that's the thing as well. I was like, um yes i will i'll bet on the i'll bet the farm yeah but the farm needs to be three at least right no hang on no the water needs to be three at least yeah they both need to be three so basically yeah i'm i'm hoping that more water comes out and if more farm comes out then nothing really is going to score there Dur, dur, dur. and then of course i'm putting the uh three verticals in a odd numbered column to of hopefully course. pick up some size. that's what i'm trying to do as well if i put it here is that going to make my life harder well that's an even numbered column if you put that down oh i forgot yeah okay okay if, oh not even all right i'm gonna put it down here i guess so that um 
but it's only two. You know what? It doesn't matter. I'll, I'll do it still. I already made a boo-boo, but eh, this is about having fun. One, two, three. Um, yeah. Look at my farm. My farm is looking less good than you. Your farm's looking good. All right. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are we allowed to flip? Yes. Mm -hmm. Flip rotate. Flips rotations is all good and the uh, image uh, what do you call that the image mirror yeah mirror image is good yep and of course if you spend a coin you can even break it into bits yay and flip both of those bits mm -hmm. full flexibility yay, yay. all right yes let's move on to our next one so um just for a minor for everyone the round will end once these numbers add up to eight or more mm -hmm. And they've actually shortened the uh, summer, I think, for this, uh, for heroes. The summer's down to seven. It used to be eight. Okay. All right. We've got a timber grove. Hmm. So we've got a little L shape with a coin or two verticals. Okay. I think I always enjoy having coins. Yeah, me too. It's only one extra square for the for uh, four mm -hmm. points worth of coin if I don't spend it. So. And this is um this is not until D. Um again and three star if you surround it forest with forest. Is that correct? Correct. Oh dear. Or H. Let's do this. There we go. I've already got one. Party forest. Mm-hmm. Party forest. Party forest. Party. Forest with a heart. And you might coin you forgot. I did forget. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yes. There you go. The runes basically get ignored in the expansion, yes. Go in! Yes. <laughs> Math and go in, go in. Yes, there are no ruins cards coming, so those who like to leave their ruins open, yeah. and do not worry. <laughs> uh, all right. Shall we? I like the conversations in the the chat room. All right, we have a coastal encampment. Yeah. Hello, Chloe. Yes, uh, this is the expansion. Welcome. What do we have? Oh, coastal encampment. So there's that water I was looking for. I can lock down six points right away. So do I, I think. But it's square, it's not ideal, but... It's not ideal. But then I'm potentially giving up, I don't know, we will... We'll see, this will lock down 12 points. Uh, so 12 points for you! Well, it... it Because this will score twice, essentially this will lock down 12 points. It's actually so true. We'll do that. Yeah, that's a, that's a really good option. We... Get more water. <laughs> Waiting for someone to 3D print the tiles on Etsy. That would be awesome. But then if you can't, hang on, if you print the tiles, that means you can't use the coloring. So yeah, it's like, hmm. Uh, Ty say the uh, artworks realized. Indeed. It's um, in the uh, role player universe. Um, I think that's similar. Yes. All right, so we're up to five. Mm -hmm. So there will be at least two more. Mm -hmm. Um, and um, hello to uh, Board Game Arena Twitch as well, and Xnia. Hello! Um, yeah, you can always like, it's optional to, to play along if you want, otherwise you can watch how it is played. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Oh, yes. Let's move on. Four, five, six, seven, so one more after this, possibly, unless if it's Monster. Is there monster in the first? Uh, yeah. Not in the first one. Okay. And no heroes as well. Yep. All right. Woodland Crossroads. I think that mm. opens up a nice amount of outer enclave yeah. spaces. So uh, what color do you I can keep working okay. on my giant forest. <laughs> yeah. I kind of, I'm kind of hoping to lock down some silo this mm -hmm. round. There'll be one more after this that has mm. these. I think I'm going to start working on my enclave. Enclave 
oh one every yeah i know that would be that would be nice and that would be next round yes hmm okay this might be the one i'm gonna put the one three one three four five six seven the numbers down the bottom oh sorry thank you that will be that's much easier okay yay yeah 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 it's not bad for this one to come out earlier so yeah. less, uh, less things clogging up around it get my um beautiful uh, i'm not a professional drawer as you can see here but that will do looks like a house to me thank you so do you Mine look more like arrows than this one. Oh yeah, but um, it looks more like this one. Anyways. <laughs> All right, so likely the last one for the round. Oh no, that's not what I want. Oh no. Ooh, actually, ooh, okay. <laughs> ooh. That's the, pasture. The, po the point is on the pasture, not on the, uh, sorry, on the farm, not on the... Not on the water. So you can potentially six twelve this round i think well maybe the the other thing i was looking at was the silo Ooh, oh. actually yeah because if i i, sh I should just shut up <laughs> oh collection yes, edition i can si i can make a s i'm going to i'm going to use a disguise oh or a manipulate for what? Because that will let me add that one extra square I need to fill silo seven. I think I'm going to use manipulate. Oh, so it's going to cost right. me four, but it's going to. Oh get yeah, me... I forgot about that already. It's going to cost me four, but it's going to get me ten. Okay. So I'm going to cross this off. Mm -hmm. I don't actually need more water, so I'm going to. I'm going to manipulate it. I'm going to. Cut one of these uh, Z-shaped squares off mm -hmm. and move it slightly. Yeah, I can't do that. Well done, Tarrant. Well done. I just want to see. Wow, I know what I want, but I just want to see what Tarrant does. Ooh. That is a well done move. Well done. Tarrant really bit me in this game. Like, I never won from you, I think. I'm sure you have. No, never. Okay. I... It has to be that one because obviously thingy doesn't work thingy yeah that will give you the crayon yeah but it's like which shape do i want i feel like i want to take it and then like rotate it around oh hang on i didn't get crayon sorry it's not next to a cluster of three it's actually next to three i messed that up sorry what do you mean crayon is um it's next to a cluster of three um water not next to exactly three not next sorry it's next to three water squares not mm. next to a cluster of three water squares oh! so I actually don't score so do i then look true but you can rectify it with i disguise. know with that yeah i'm just thinking of that with these guys i yeah. cross it off i put the one water and pour it here yeah and then i can do this to make it <laughs> work right look um sorry and then yeah, flip, flip yeah it. yeah is that okay if i do that thank you so first i'm gonna draw this one before i forget so cross off my coin i think this is worth it yep um and then i'm gonna draw a four slash water thingy i'm already like messing up this <laughs> <laughs> all right one, two, three. So let that be a lesson, everyone. Read the objectives closely. <laughs> and sorry to anyone who was misled by uh, yeah. what I was saying there as well. Sorry. Um, all right. Uh, I'll yes, it. you get the coin from the mountain when it's fully orthogonally surrounded. So it needs to be uh, one. 
I don't think you can draw the Z shape adjacent to three. It would need to be a yeah. It would I don't need think... to be a big L shape. Mm. Yeah, it's only two here, and then yeah. But you can set up for the end of the game as well. Yeah, I might just do that. Uh, so sad. <laughs> I know the feeling. Ah. Uh... Okay, I'm just going to do it like, maybe like this. Okay, yep. doesn't matter. So it, was all, it was always going to be tough. These two uh, big scoring, hard to get objectives, both hitting in round one. Yeah. So. Okay. All right. All right. So that's it. That is it. Three points this round, only Kralin. No, six points. Crayland is six points. Crayland six points, yes. Uh, diagonals don't matter in in Cartographers. All right, so score the objectives. I got zero Crayland. I, I got, got one Silo for ten points. Wow, I've got. I spent my coin. That is so good. I mean, you got ten. Like, how can you do ten? That's just amazing. I should have done that. Normally, a good first round for me is like twenty points or fifteen or twenty. Say. So. This is this okay. is the right. but this is the challenging set yeah. of objectives. So A, I've got six. Yes. I yes, you have one Kralin. B, I've got zero. Yep. And coin zero. Mm -hmm. Monster zero, so six it is. Yep. So see, Karen's already winning. Winning. All right. <laughs> now we're adding the monsters, the new monsters, and monster and hero. So we'll add one monster and one, one hero. hero. Mm -hmm. Shuffle it all up. I wonder what happened. What every everyone's doing? So six maybe. Um, yeah, it's hard. No, um, objective B is hard. Massive dominant mm -hmm. five points. Yay! All right. A only three. No, it's six points. Yeah, there's a big three on. There's a big three here yes. to indicate it's three or more waters. Yes, but, but it is worth six yeah. points. Yeah, easy to look the other way. So, um, what was that? Was it just one? Yeah. There right. you go. So we'll leave that there for a sec for uh, when we finish their round one scores. Yeah, yeah. You can get. I mean, you can get three points if you want to, but I don't want to rob you of three points. <laughs> No. Okay, Tarrant. Okay, so now we're doing the silos again. Mm -hmm. So long columns, and then you want empty spaces next to one, uh, one cluster of villages. Village. So you only get to pick one of your village clusters, mm -hmm. and then every empty space adjacent to it, cut me, scores one point. All right. You ready? Yes. Oh, and... Now we go to summer. So summer now has only seven time. B and C. Okay. Coastal encampment. Mm -hmm. Eight points. Nate has decided me. No, mm -hmm. hang on. No, I'm six, not eight, unfortunately. You win. <laughs> I told you I'm not good at this. All right. All right, I think getting outer enclave points is the way to go. So that would that would turn one into three. That would turn one into four. That would turn one into four. And then draw my encampment here. Yeah. You can watch this live or not live. If you watch it not live, then you can. I guess you can still play along. I think someone has done it before. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's probably given you're so far out there in the mm -hmm. in the open. Yeah, just locking down your Kralins for later is. Uh, Nathan likes the um the summer card, which is just really good. Thanks for um mentioning that and coastal encampment also beautiful yeah i do like that it's got the arch and the little shacks in the yeah on the on the beach and of course in spring here it was the same it was the same place ah. we were practicing archery we had the uh the tree was blossoming that's amazing the little spring chicken there 
An hour into summer, the chicken has turned into a cart of oranges. <laughs> What's the detail? As is the <laughs> life cycle of the chicken. Ah. And, uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. All right. Okay. What do we just on it, numbers? Yes. Shall we? Yeah. Wildwood Garden. So we've got a funny little shape of forest or farm. Indeed. I'm going to keep trying to lock down my big sprawling forest, I think. I forgot about the forest. Hmm. Oh, I already made a mistake. Ooh. Actually, wait a minute. Sorry, again. That's I can, can I, yeah, no, I can never do this. I can do this. Oh yes, because that creates a, another cluster. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Gearing up to not make... until yeah. No, it's quite good. You're gearing up to make some silos there and get a whole lot of Kralin points in the final round. Yep. Very good. All right, so we're already on four here. Mm -hmm. So there could only be two more cards, which is not going to make much of a silo for me. <laughs> much of a new <laughs> silo. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. We've got another pasture. So farm. Farm and a coin. Mm. Interesting. Hello, second Sun seventy seven from Board Game Arena Twitch. Um, I occasionally try to look it up. Hello. All right. How to do this? Pretty sure I want the one with the coin. I haven't thought about it yet. Gosh. Yeah, let's do it. Is there a two um side by side two squares in the cup in one of the cards? I'm not sure. Okay. It does help sure. to know what shapes there might be. Yeah. I'll have a look for you and then reach out. Well, that will tell me what monsters in the deck. Oh, no, that's okay. okay. That's all right. I'm just, just wondering if you know on top of your head what, um, if you do know. Oh, I can't do this. I can't, uh, I'm like complaining again. Mm, if I just do this, um, Just need to do one more. Sorry. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And that means one more water over there. Yeah, let's do that. Unfortunately, not going to get the coins. Okay. It's okay. Six points is worth more than. Yeah, but I need one coin. more water. Unless if I want to spend a coin, but I don't have coins to do that. Like if I'm desperate, I can just do it a coin for that. Yep. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This could be the last card. Three, four, five. Or oh, the monster. Or the heroes. Yep. Three, four, five. And you've, it's, you're well set up because you can still fill that up for a silo with one of those. Oh, you need a coin to do that. I know. So hopefully this will be a shape that gets... Come on! <laughs> Not you, but like... Lagoon. Lagoon, lagoon. With the one, so there'll be one more card. I can put this mm, just not quite right. Put a silo silo because this is like that would be like perfect for this one as well, but I don't know. Mm. Mm. 
dip in thoughts. Ooh. Yeah, because Kralin only needs, the pasture only needs to be one space. If I put it there, I actually get what a single, the, the farm only needs to be one space. If I put that there, mm -hmm. I lock down a Kralin on a single space farm. No, there needs to be a cluster of three. No, the, the cluster of farm spaces doesn't need to be three. It's any cluster of any size. It just needs to be adjacent to three waters. Oh, right. Yes. But this is already... Oh yeah, one more, you're right. Yeah, yeah so we're going to lock this one in. Fantasy cows. John Brie... Uh, John Brie... Uh, is that how you say it? John Brigger? John Brigger. Hmm? John Brigger. Then Jordi Aiden. Brigger? John, John Brigger. And Brigger? Brigger, sorry. Brigger, probably. Brigger, sorry. Fantasy cows, la la la. I haven't yeah, decided... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try to make this work, but how do I, how am I going to make this work? Wait. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then coin. Yep, that's good. That looks, uh, two coins, because you just surrounded a mountain. Oh, thank you very much for reminding me. Yeah. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Last one, possibly. Din, din, din. No monsters, but and it is the last one. Mm -hmm. And well, you got a tough decision. I guess this is the perfect one for getting for this. enclave points. This yep. is the perfect one for filling in your silo. Yeah. Well, let's see. I can I can turn one into. We have a two here. Oh gosh, what's everyone's doing? <laughs> I drew it like Lagoon. Ah, hello, sea chart. Me blues. I like that. Me blues. Mm. Oh. Sorry. The station. Mm. What gonna do? What gonna do? Yeah. Sorry. You got a lot of points. <laughs> One, two, three. You got a lot of points there. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, I that think one's... ten points. Ten points, probably more for me. Plus the plus the coin as well, which is a three-point yeah. coin at this. Like stage. I, I'm, I'm thinking I can put it here. If I put it here, oh, the, the H doesn't count, doesn't it? Yeah. Correct. I have to put it somewhere here and then it's kind of block everything else so i'm just gonna do yeah unfortunately but that's not gonna score again yeah you'll be getting and that's gonna score again yeah but you still get uh effectively 13 points out of this one yes so unless you can create six more unless you can create seven more points for this one to score twice you're better off filling in your silo. It's easier for my brain as well. And it's like blocking so much. That means that there's mm. a chance that. Yeah, you've got to get working on forest as well. Because there's a lot of points in the heart of forest. I forgot about forest. All right, I'll just do this without thinking about it too hard. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. So that's. Pass a coin. Coin. Thank you. And I can Spend my three coins. Oh no, I'm not going to do that. Nah, three, that's point, it. three coins now is nine points. So yeah. it's really got to be worth it. Yeah. Okay. Um, is that it? Yeah, I don't think Six, I seven, want to eight, buy nine. any of those. Seven. Okay. All right. Hello, 2532 Rob H1. And um, I didn't try and. Uh, board games alien i didn't try the first game of the first yet but i'm in must have lists yes absolutely yeah this is a i think this is a, a more complex option so the base cartographers is easier for family maybe and then if you play a few times and then you want to add on like us like we play a few times already yeah i think definitely the objectives are a bit they're the next they're the next step up in challenging the, yes. set of, the sets of objectives in this i think we found yes 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 Okay, let yep. us 
So no monsters or heroes left yet. It's easy to forget. Like Nathan forgot to try to get B. Like I, yeah. So that's it. All right, let's mm -hmm. score it. So B, I've still got one silent mm -hmm. for 10 points. I have one now. 10 points. All right, and C scores one for each empty space around a single cluster of villages. One, two, three, two. four, six, seven. I think I'm eight. And twelve. So this one doesn't count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Yeah, you twelve. Okay. Very good. Had three coins. Two coins. No and monsters. No monsters. So twenty one. Twenty-four. Yep, definitely ten. Yeah, Thirty-four. <laughs> Fifteen this round and twenty-three in total for Nathan. Excellent. Very good. Electric came I've been copying Nathan's shit, so I also didn't finish B. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, where do I find entry form for Middle University webpage? Yes. Um, let's just quickly bring back to that. Uh, that would be in here. So fill up a form, nipleuniversity.com slash giveaway. The password is nullos, which is the world of Player. player and we'll correct so um i'm gonna uh, go through the um thing so that's why there's um in the entry form it, it's a simple form but there's like screen names so if you want to kind of like hide your real name just put whatever and then because that's what we're going to show on the screen yep yay, yay. Say and this... it is on the video description as well yeah okay the silo i mean imagine if silos were the d objective you could you could, a lot. you could almost spend the whole game gearing up for that, just making columns. Yeah, actually. And score most of your points mm -hmm. off those. But having it so early makes it almost something yeah. that it's worth ignoring if you think you can set up the other ones better. And Jen is seven points and 22 points this run. Well done. Well done. So we now got two monsters and two heroes in this deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, turn. Okay, and we go to fall. So fall is seven again. Uh, it's raining. We've got some barrels out to catch water. Mm -hmm. uh, the tree leaves are falling. And... Twenty-three points of for C this round. Nice. And the port That's palace is closed now. They're not Good. letting people in in the fall. Mm -hmm. Got to prepare for the winter. Twenty-three points for C. That's a lot. So I must have been gearing towards that. Yeah, wow, that must be a huge sprawling. Uh, yeah. To get 23 off a single city yeah. is a huge sprawling city. So, are you sure the diagonal is not count? Maybe. Yeah, okay. everything in, everything in this four. game is. Uh, and you can't analysis. count this space twice? No. Okay. It's uh, scored by the space, not All right. by the house. Not by the house. Okay. All right, so at the end of four, we will score our outer enclave again, mm -hmm. and then three points for every forest. That yeah. is surrounded by forest and the edge. Yeah, I'll, I'm not going to get a lot of points with this one. At the moment, I've got three set up. Which yeah. is actually not that many in the scheme of things. There hasn't been too much forest come through. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Let's get into it. That's foresting away. Catherine Gates. Again? Again. <laughs> forest away. Forest, forest, forest gum. Sorry. Mm. Okay. Like my forest position is not set up well in that corner there. Right, I wonder do? um if Tim can confirm is there a monster there. Does that mean that we can draw monster on opponents if we want to? That would be interesting. Yeah. It wouldn't work for because it we're work gonna we're gonna be doing the solo rules yes. on monsters as well. But yeah, I wonder how yeah. how that works. All right, what do I want to do here? Did we add more hero and raid cards? We did. Our uh, monster, yeah. Tim was just reminding us. Yeah, we did indeed. So we've yeah, got... That was done off the camera. Yeah. All right, I think... Right. I think I want to use this opportunity to... 
Oh. Forest? No, no forest. My forest is lame. I have to do a bit of work to lock down the um, the Crayland on this cluster. Mm -hmm. So I might actually use this opportunity. No, actually, no, forest, forest makes sense at this point. The forest now would be worth six. Yeah, that's right. Why am I going to place the forest? Because everything else is blocked out like this one. If I put it here, it's... I have to put a forest here somewhere later. Might worth... Okay, I'm going to do this. Mm. Okay, let's see what happens. All right, done. Yep. And you can always use the disguised forest as well, well to start locking it down. Yeah. Okay. I uh, should be three. No, um, the first round we only have... Uh, we don't have heroes and ambush card for the first round. Just for the second round onwards. So we should have two now. Yeah, I... Is it? Or I've always been confused by that. I think I used to play it that way, but the the way I've read the way I've read this is you set the four off to the the side at the start of the game. Um, Maybe Tim Tim can help us if. What's the As far as I can tell, you only add it after round. After? Okay. Yeah. Um, if not, we'll just call it a house rule that makes the game a little gentler in round one by not having uh, monsters. To yes. 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 All right. Woodland Crossroads. I'm just worried that one round will be like Mossy Mossy Monster. <laughs> it's like kill up everything. Okay. It's not the greatest shape for the heart of the forest, but I definitely want to build my house. Yeah. Oh, I can spend one coin and then... It actually automatically gives... Placing it as woodland automatically gives you six points because the middle one will be a forest heart. That's actually true. All oh, right, that's going to do that. Can't place it there. Um, ma, 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 ma. I am considering options here. If I do it here. So is it next to mountain considered? No, it has to be the forest or the edge. Okay. All right, I'm going to try the forest. Oh, that one doesn't work. That one doesn't work. Why don't it be the edge? Sorry, I'm not complaining. Uh, I think I'm going to... Probably do it somewhere here. You know what? Shoot. I'm just gonna. I'm not trying. I said shoot. Alright. Forest it is. One, two, three. I will say I'm worried about these monsters. If a monster comes from the top left corner, it's going to wreck my perfect forest. Right. I'll, I'll make sure I'll think of that. <laughs> hey, Lillian. Lillian Mishutani. I like that. Hopefully I say it right. Oh, here we go. Speech heart. Yep. Got our first Ooh, monster. So, ding, ding, ding. And it is in a bad spot. All right. So it is. Let me just double check it. We've got the zombie plague. So the zombie plague is only one square. So Tim says it should be for one for each round. So. Okay. I always, I always miss that in the setup of the first round. Should we add more now or just leave it? No, we'll just leave it. Yeah. We'll... More gentler. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So the zombie plague is a single zombie square. Mm -hmm. uh, you mark it with the letter Z. And at the end of each season, you have to add a new zombie plague square next to it. Wow. So yeah, it's only going to happen the once, but it's going to expand. Now the placement, it is the top left corner. Mm -hmm. So you start from the top left corner and proceed along the edges of the map in the direction indicated by the arrow, which is uh, counterclockwise. So that is going to ruin my perfect uh, forest. Mm -hmm. Basically start in the top left corner, work your way down until you get to an empty square. Oh no! And draw the zombie there. 
Ah, it's ruined my yep. forest as well. If the zombie, if you get to the end of the map, mm -hmm. then proceed along the edges, start in the corner, proceed along the edges. So basically you go around the entire map in that direction until you find an empty square to put the zombie. Mm -hmm. If, for whatever reason, you've completely filled the outer edge, move to the next square in, so start at B2, yeah. and then keep moving around. And keep doing that, and you'll eventually find a spot. Mm -hmm. So yours would be there, and mine would be here. Yes. And you need to mark it as Z. Mark it as Z, and at the end of this round, if you haven't fully surrounded it, uh, you will need to add another zombie onto your board. Which is fine. If I add it there, it will actually fill up the space for me as well. Help with that, maybe. I mean, this forest is lost anyway. Yep. Okay. All right, so I'll pop that there to remind us. Maybe. Actually, I'll pop it on top of the winter card over here to remind us. Yes. That is the zombie plague. Oh, we can put it here somewhere. Pop Thank it. you. Pop it there. It'll by putting it on the winter card, it will remind me to. Oh no, that people can see it. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. All right. Settlement. Mm -hmm. So okay. all about the uh, outer enclave here. Hmm. I've got to turn one into four with a coin. The zombie's not, I mean, the zombie started off just one square, but then it grows. It, yeah. It's not dealt with. Come on, hero cards, come out. <laughs> <laughs> like more and more. It's surrounded zombie. with forest. It won't, it won't grow if it's surrounded. Hmm. If I cut it off, so you can cut into two pieces and then a long L, one, two, three, four. It's not going to work either. Okay, actually. One, two. Hmm. I was going to do that before, but it's just not. I'm slightly um torn here, sorry. Everybody. I was annoyed by that zombie. That was that stops twelve potential points worth of forest. Okay, I'm gonna uh, do manipulate to Cross my one of my coins, heart and coin there, to break this shape into two. Like this, the first one is here. Yep. And then the second one is here. You should do it. Um. Um. Hang on. Uh, doesn't matter, does it? Uh, I can do it here. You get more open spaces if it doesn't wrap around the mountain. I know, I know. Actually, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. matter. You already score that up. Yeah, one. this one, like yeah. this. Yeah. Thank you for helping. So this is not too bad, but I um at times I need to uh, rotate things physically because I can't imagine it. Yeah. Thank you. All right, town's a good sport. Uh, Siege Heart, how did you guys like Dinosaur World? I like the theme, but not big into euros um, as my table isn't <laughs> i think we like that better than dinosaur island I, I think it might have um has got a smoother sort of like gameplay than dinosaur island we had a good we had a we good time it, with it yeah. yeah it was it was one of those light draft personal puzzle mm -hmm. types of games but we were able to uh, we had a lot of fun with the theme of it and yeah. sort of uh, taking each other on tours through our parks. Yeah. Um, yeah, I... Yeah, I mean, it yeah. was good. We yeah. Um, and then I missed that as well. Um, well, that's Cuban-American thing. Aussies have awesome accents. I think you. I don't have a lot of Aussie accents. I moved here when I was like 17 or something like that, or 18. Um, that was years ago, trust me. And you have even you don't have that thick accent. I think, um, I think your accent is better. Let's, we 
always the case though like we used to our own accents we hear other accents like ooh, cuban american would be awesome yeah there you go okay bye dutch yoda bye yeah we have hero dobrik of Warcraft. thanks for joining us make sure you've entered the competition it's in the description and the uh, password is nalos yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay, so again, we have our hero. Oh, so the hero is a single square mm -hmm. uh, with a sword, and this particular hero will hit any adjacent square. So you can place it if, even though you have forest or whatever terrain next to it. So it's actually a good one to kill the zombie. Yes, yeah, so it will kill the zombie very efficiently. I'm actually not going to because I'm really trying to load this up with forest. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if I put a if I put a hero in there, then that's just another square that can't be scored as forest. I want to enclose the zombie with forest, mm -hmm. so I'm going to pop him somewhere else. You actually done really good. How many would you score there? It's like quite a lot. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six squares, I think, so 18. Mm -hmm. What I'm going to do with this hero is just pop him in here and close off a mountain. Mine is not really good because uh, oh, it's a great one, isn't it? Um, I'm already lost the forest here. So I, if I want to build forest, it'll be around here. Yeah. So I'm going to build um, here. You're better off killing the zombie. Yeah. Um, my feeble sword. Okay. And you actually cross the um. I use black because it's the like that. Okay. And then I will cross here. Yes. Is it cross or? Yeah, cross out. Yeah. The zombie. Yay! We defeat the hero. Defeat the zombie. Okay. Dobrit of Lockern, um, defeat the zombie. Yep. And the other thing to remember, of course, is um, under the solo rules, if you if you're choosing not to deal with the zombie. Uh, remember that under the solo rules, your hero or your your monsters are going to come out somewhere near the edge. Mm -hmm. So, you know, this hero is not going to kill anything. That's I'm correct. just using him to fill a space. Yep. And not Shield. interfere with my other objectives. I put it here, maybe. Just to remind you who he was. Yep. Actually, it doesn't matter. This is the one that with um with an ground attack. Yeah. Yep. This one is out of the game now. Just um. Remember that it is the four directions. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, rewind and... So we've still got okay. at least two cards yeah. to come. Could be more monsters. We have a hillside terrace. Which is not particularly what I wanted. I knew it. You mm. fussy. <laughs> <laughs> You can break it, maybe, or something like that. I could break it, or I could try to set up another Crayland. Hmm. Ooh, actually, yes, if I... I'm quite pleased with this one. So <laughs> if I set up another Crayland here... That's good. It's next to two waters, and then I can uh, use a disguise to draw in a uh, space that both helps my forests and helps my Ooh. water. Very good, Tarot. Yay, dwarves! <laughs> Whoa. I don't know what to do. Things. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna slowly. Move. People need to time to think as well, so I assume that, and then I have to think. <laughs> mm. Do it there. Ooh. One, two, three. Oh, not work. I'm going to use the break thing again. Yeah. 
Oh, hang on. You can only use each one once per season. Yeah, I forgot. Thank you. It's like, did they use it this Sorry, you can only use one of them once per season. You I broke used that. It. Um, That's actually correct. Break that one off. Thank you for uh, making me not cheat accidentally. Mm. I think. Just. This is the only one for that water and thingy combo. Or I can use. Actually, I can use the water to draw it here. That's more. Um, oh no, I want to see with the forest. forest. You might be better off down yeah, there. I think so. So I probably do a. One, two, three. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. This would be perfect. I'm um, sorry, not this one. Water. Okay, so it will be like that. Okay, finally I make up made up my mind. Thank you for your patience. And it um makes you close to a mountain as well. Once mm -hmm. you get some forest that'll fit in there. Great. Excellent. Okay, done. All right, we're up to five. Mm -hmm. So there Tiny could be. Tiny epic downers is pretty good. Yes. Could uh, be only one more. Could be four more. Yeah, it could be. So at least one more. So we got a lagoon. More water. That. Hmm. That's actually quite a good shape for me as well because that will lock down that cradle. Ooh. <laughs> Sorry. Yay! I should be happy for you. <laughs> and a clock. All right. Ah, too much. Hang on, we don't have silos no anymore. No more silos. Well, it's too late. Can we oh, get the white out page? Huh? I can get the white out page. Ah, uh, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. I forgot that we don't scroll silos anymore. Mm. Eh, doesn't matter. Because that's... I would have moved it to the left and... We'll just see what happened. Okay. Mm. That's really waste. My fault. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Last one, unless it's a zombie or hero. Hero or monster. Sorry, yeah. Uh, Last job. That actually works well, maybe. What are we gonna do with this? Maybe. One? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Do 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 do. Tara, Tara, what you gonna do? <laughs> oh, I know what I'm gonna do. Go and put it in here. So there's a gap in the middle as well. Interesting. I'm gonna lose one of my enclave points. Okay. Then. Then next round, I'm going to do a disguise mm -hmm. there and get another Krayland. Yes. All right. And that is, and that had a coin on it as well. Yes. That's it. That's the That's end of it. it. That is the end of round three. Uh, one more round after this? One more round after this. Okay. Remember that you will lose one point for every space adjacent to your zombie, and then after that, you're going to add one new zombie mm -hmm. if there is indeed a space. Let's do this. But scoring. if you've destroyed it with your hero, mm -hmm. nothing happens. So let's start the scoring. So my outer enclave is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yep. And my heart of the forest. I'm going to put a plus sign over the ones that score. Yeah. So this one is good. This one is good. Three, 
four, five, six. So good. Mine's only one. <laughs> Karen's doing well. No. Okay. No. Yes. I'm happy for you, honey. <laughs> Four coins and minus one for monsters. Mm. So 35. All right. I need your help just in case I made a boo boo. Monster. So, see here, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yep, yeah. 15. 15 for C. Very good. And the D is, is one. one. Three. Yeah, three. Yeah. So, is it 21? That yeah. is 21. Thank you. All right, good, my sir. zombie plague expands. Hello, second son, 77 on board game arena Twitch. For some reason, I can't put the comments from someone else's Twitch to our thingy, so it doesn't come up automatically on our chat. All right. All right. So how's everyone going on round three? Yeah, how's everyone going? Um, because the so I'm I'm going hey, to. Hey Matt. Yes. I'm now going to remove the zombie plague from the game because mm -hmm. the game's over at the end of the next round, mm -hmm. so we won't be adding more. Um. But we do add one more monster and one more. I forgot. I could have spent one coin to put it there. Oh, that's giving me two, three coins. That doesn't matter. Too late. Yeah, you've already um... yeah. already done this. Keep forgetting again. Yeah, I really like this mini skills expansion. Is it skill mini expansions too? Yeah, skills mini expansion too. Yeah, I really like it because there are more than these three cards. There are like seven or something like that. Yep. I can't remember exactly, but. Yeah, they really help you in the game. Yeah, it gives you the nice options to make the game more forgiving in places. Correct. I mean, Haggle, you look at Haggle, that could be really good right now to mm -hmm. get extra hearts of the forest because if the card that has two forests comes yeah. up, spend three, spend three points and possibly get, get six out of it. So. Yeah. Uh, 31 for Nathan. Nice, good round. It's good. Like, I'm 21, 21, and six. Very good, Karen. So you're up to 27 and 48. Thank you. I'm up to 48 all up. Um, Working out while you play. Yay. <laughs> so again, if you, um, at the end, if you like, obviously optional, we've got a Discord, specific Discord channel that you can post um, your map. Um, it is in the description. And then go to uh, Cartographers, Heroes, let me just like bring it up quickly. Uh, Cartographer's Heroes. Uh, what do you call it? Channel on our Discord. If you want to post your stuff. Yes. By meaning stuff is your map. Your map. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So we're into winter. The tree is bare. The fire, the bonfire is going for warmth and the castle is closed. And there's snow everywhere. Mm -hmm. And there's a wheel. And where's the chicken? Uh, the chicken is not to be seen. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave you to imagine what might have happened. <laughs> well, it goes to you know, um, to a um, a safe place inside the house for now. Yeah. No, the right, beautiful. And so let's um, just remind ourselves. So we're back to heart of the forest and Crayland. The lagoons is beautiful. Look at that that picture. How like I want to go there like right now. <laughs> not right. It's so soothing. We can't even go outside our five kilometers. Um. So everyone's in Melbourne, including um, Amy and Maggie from Thinker Thema. We can't go anyway. As beside five kilometer, except you next to a forest and next to that, then you can. Well, in in Victoria, original Victoria is a little bit different, I think. Yeah. Five kilometers. <laughs> See chart zero. <laughs> it's all good. Mm. All right. I think I'll just lock down some coin. Oh, I could stop my zombie from 
No, I want to put forest there. All right, I'm just going to lock down a mountain with this lagoon. Very good, Tara. I get two coins for that. Hmm. I can't really make any use of this. If I put it here, maybe, and then... I forgot about this. It's just like, yeah, whatever. If I do it here... Well, because you can only access two of the waters from this side, if you do make a new cluster of... Um, you mad like suppose the, I can't I can't put the um the thumb over here. Yeah, suppose the Z shape comes out. Yeah, suppose. Then you want some water there. Yeah, but to I don't lock know. Down six points. I don't know what. You don't know what will come up. Yeah, right. that's the thing. I'm gonna put the water. Mm. This is already locked in. It has to be somewhere here. I just couldn't. I might just put it here, this two. No, it will all break it up. This two. Oh no, I can't. It do won't that. score anything. Yeah, no, I, know, no. I know. You're better off either. Oh, this doesn't score anymore. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You're so right. So you could either lock down that coin and get two points, or hope that the right. I um... know. I would have to do that. I can always break things as well. Anyway, hopefully. That's true. If you just. If you put it in a place where there's, yeah, if you Aaron's put it in a place over me, but... there, you'll be able to break up yeah. a, a pasture later. And... Yeah. If out for whatever reason, like this one you meant, I think it's a good shape, like here and here. Because yeah. then... there's also that pasture that is two spaces separated by one. You might even be able to score two trailings out of it if you play yeah, your cards right. Let's just do this and see what happens. I might regret it fully, but yeah. The blue lagoon has made its, its place here with yep. one coin there. All right, next, please. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good at math, yes. Well, there's... Uh, Terrence, you got the coin? I did get the coin. Yeah. All right, now we have a hillside terrace. Yo. Those are not the cards I want. But... No. I will break it. I'll spend a coin. A coin. I guess I'll try to set up a new Kralin down here. And hope another water comes through and then break it. Or actually, could I? I could spend three. I could spend three right now mm -hmm. to. Um... Karen and Stella turned Focus's Heroes into a cop game. <laughs> you think cop for a uh, variance, by the way? I don't think so, though. I think you just play together. Yeah. <laughs> they aren't so nice. Yes, Nalos. Nalos is the password. Thanks, Amy and Maggie. I'll hedge my bets. I'll hope another water comes mm -hmm. out. All right, so we're up to three. Mm -hmm. Wildwood Garden. Five. There's some forest. At least we got to experience at, um, the monster and the hero once. The zombies actually made that kind of worthless. I actually can't score more forest off that one. Sorry. I guess I can block the zombie points and then hope that... Uh, hope that oh, this just doesn't work. Way. One, two... Oh, that one more 
Oh yeah, get your waste. Sorry. Uh. So there's only there's only one more non there's only one more timing left. I was gonna to try to make this work to here, but I can't fit this here in and I need one more. I've used my coin for that to, to split something. Yeah. So I can't possibly fit that in there. Mm. So I might as well. You can fit that one, two, three. Yeah, but then but again. But then you won't have a yes. place yep. to put the water. Or is it better the forest? Because the forest is. Oh, I can put it here, but I don't know what comes out. It's one more. Or I can put it here and then score one coin. True. But that's just one point. Position again. And put it here. And that's already two. I need one more. Oh, hang on. Nah, I just need one more cluster of this. This is only minimum of three clusters of um a farm. Now the farm can be whatever size you want. You just need three waters next to it. But it needs to be adjacent, obviously. Hmm? See if I put it here. Yeah. Two and one. That's not the uh, it's not connected to the farm. Correct, this yes. one. If I put something here, that means it goes to here and then doesn't have points here. So yeah. either way, I don't think it, I can make this work. I might as well. Yeah. Either way, all you yeah. need is I don't know how many waters there are left in here, but you would need Catherine's gates. I know. To lock down. That's this okay. One. Thank you, Tara. So I, if I put it probably here, that will lock up um this one sorry this one and this one that makes my forest bigger which is better one, yeah two, i think three. if you put it there one of them becomes gone. like this yeah thank you tara i think i've had enough help here thank you you know actually, I'm yeah actually that didn't add any new points it does yeah no because that's not that's still open all the ones you place to open on another side. That's right. You, you know what? That's okay. It, I've already taken too much time. Yeah. We'll see. Forest! It's luck. Actually, it. actually, that's a really nice yeah, effect for us for you. Thank you. So this is, the fi this is the last one. Mm -hmm. No more monsters and, and such. Yeah, let's do it here. And I think I'm actually going to split that one in water because I can score more as water for that. Mm -hmm. I'm drawing my beautiful forest here. Yes. Anna! I predict I'm going to use these guys again. These guys are good. I've used mine up this, this round. Things getting crowded on those maps. That's correct. Um, Minecraft Swarm was best case scenario for Stella. Yes. Yes. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I think it was actually best case for me with Manipulate well. still left because I was able to make two Kralins out of it. This time I don't feel like I overcrowd. Like sometimes it's you can't fit any shapes, but this time mm. I can. Well, shapes. last time we had the objective where you got. I think it was three points for it was some number of points for every cluster of three empty spaces. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. the boards were just so spread apart. Yeah. <laughs> um, we could barely fit anything in winter. That's um, correct. Because it was, I think it was objective D as well. So. Are you going to bring the, the zombie plague again, just in case if somebody still has it? Um, there's no more games, so it doesn't have, it won't expand. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But I'll just show you some of the other, um, we never had a frontier dwelling. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the other a timber grove. Oh, uh, let's score and then we'll, we'll let, uh, okay, we'll score, yeah, we'll score and then we'll look at the other ones and then show the other hero cards and, uh, monster card. Yep. All right. Yeah. Uh, we were quite lucky with not many raids. Yes. Yes, we were. That's un unusual. All right. So I didn't actually end up expanding my forest at all, uh, that time. So you still get 18 so left? I still get 18. One. So me, it's like one. Um, two. Two. Is that two on me? Three. Two. No, not two. It's not yeah, as much as I want two. to. Aww. Six. 
That's okay. And A, you. So, let's have a sim. Yeah, I said that. This one is adjacent to one, two, three. Mm -hmm. This one is adjacent to one, two, three. This one, one, two, three. This one, one, two, three. This one, one, two, three. Wow. And this one, one, two, three. So six Kralins for 36 points. Whew. A lot. I Nathan wasn't, wasn't expecting to go in on Kralins, but a lot of those a lot of those cards came out. So so far. All right, let's do this one. You're looking pretty similar. So this one is one, two. And the two, disguise. Three. Uh, the disguise counts. So each square is separate, but that's a water. Oh, each square is separate. That was... Anyways, yeah, yeah so in that, here. That's three. That's one. And that one? Yeah. One, one two, two, three. three. This one? One, two, three. Yep. This one? One, two, three. Yep. Four. This one? One, two, three. Five. I think that's it. Yeah. Five times six. Five times six is thirty. Yeah. And yours is more. I thought that was okay. So that is thirty-nine. Plus forty. Who's good at math? Karen is king of Kralum. For sure. Karen! Okay. So thirty-nine plus forty-eight. Is um eighty-seven. 87, a measly 87, and Taryn is 128 points, everybody. So I'm going to do this. Take a bottle of mine and then place it in here. Uh, grant permission. Sorry, I need to grant permission apparently for that. So we'll see some scores coming in. We got 113 from Eclectic Camel. I will say I did not expect this game to be high scoring with these particular um objectives being early yep. but yeah Kralin especially because of the card that um I don't think it came out in the final round but this one here um creates a lot of pastures and or creates a lot of farmland clusters and we just had lots and lots of those farmland water cards come out correct so I'm just taking photo of our maps and then posting it in the in this code chat. Thank you. Yep. Okay. You got, uh, Jen got 111. Wow. So congratulations. Congratulations. Like it doesn't matter how many you score uh, talking as a, a lowest point <laughs> map. So unfortunately University Bill is not successful, but Mippleberg is um successful. Yep. Uh so I've posted that there. So while we do that, as promised, I'll just show you the other heroes and the other monsters. heroes and monsters. All right, I'm going to zoom this in for that one because we can. Yep. So we show you the Dragon Inferno before. Occupies a lot of space, but uh, when you surround or destroy the dragon, essentially once the dragon uh, stops costing you points at the end of a round, you gain three coins. So if the dragon comes out early and you can slay it quickly, yeah, there's 12 points in that for you. Yeah. Uh, there is the giant troll ravage. So the troll will, at the end of each round, destroy an empty space mm -hmm. next to him. So it won't score as much next time, but you can't build things there. So it sort of impedes your progress on building things. And then there's the gorgon gaze. Um, the player who places it gets to destroy one non-mountain space next to the Gorgon. Mm. So I'm not quite sure how that one works in solo. I'm glad we didn't uh, draw it actually. So we've got to reach and have, figure out yeah. how to do that. Yeah. But they would be able to. One on one is good. One 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 on one 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 three. That's good. Yeah, good scores. I think if I remember last time we played with Gorgon Gaze. This I I had it almost exactly fit into this space that I was saving for something, and I think I think the way it worked, we had that one where it was clusters mm -hmm. of three empty score yeah. points, and it broke two of those, and it broke one of my other um, 
second highest um, pounds one or something. It really cost me a lot, I remember. Yeah. So those are the monsters. And then the heroes, none of them have special powers. They just have different configurations. Mm -hmm. So they're all one, um, they're all one square filled. And then, so Frailer fires an arrow through three spaces. Mm -hmm. Dial of Jolev uh, spreads horizontally, oh, sorry, diagonally. And Ren the Lioness, um, a cluster, yeah. cluster bomb, three spaces. Do you out. have the Neblis map? as well with you handy and the uh, other mini skill extensions. I'm just going to quickly show you what the map looks um, like. This is, is the, oh, this, this is, is the map. Yep. That contains the volcano. Upside down. <laughs> yep. Because yep, there are volcano cards. So this will you know, every so often force you to destroy. Oops, wrong way as well. So this will yeah cause an eruption. You can take a big eruption with a coin or a little eruption. These aren't these aren't bad. I remember I remember you set up like your objective B around the volcano, and then mm -hmm. once that finished scoring, you just roll lava over the top. Yeah. <laughs> so a yeah, little fun there. Hey Alex. So um, are he are the heroes based on anything particular reference? Yeah, I don't know. It might be Tim's question, Tim. If that might be any particular reference in role players. Maybe it's interlinked and connected to the role player. Role player. Yep, or to the role player adventure story, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Uh, we've got other skills. So, subvert. You can draw a. You can ignore what comes up on the card and draw, basically a capture of gates. Uh, instead, there's intimidate, where you can destroy a non-mountain space on your mm -hmm. sheet. Hello, Steno Bro. Slide of hand lets you draw this pattern instead of one of the depicted shapes. So that's an interesting one. Lets you sort of prepare with this slot open. Yeah. Uh, Sense Evil lets you draw another hero if you wish. And Summon uh, lets you make the other. Summon helps you when the monsters come up. Uh, you can spend the thing in the monsters to draw a worse enemy. For your opponent yeah <laughs> so it wouldn't have worked in this uh, solo one i don't think but. that's true there we go so that's it um now we're gonna just show you again the password to enter uh thanks to obviously photography uh to thunderworks games yes um sorry i opened the wrong one it's this one there you go finally hello to one <laughs> yay you made it one. So uh, fill up the form, mipleuniversity.com slash giveaway. It's a simple form. Uh, password is Nullos. So we're going to show that um, it's a simple form. And put your screen name. That's what we're going to show on the screen and while we count together this time. And hello, Dawn. Um, ba -ba. Yes, very beautiful artwork. Um, I really like in particular it, um, these guys, I think they just the scenery are just amazing. Yes, yeah, they come really nice. Even like this mangrove swamp yeah. that we had before, mangroves are always fun with their giant roots. Yes, yeah. a fancy cow as Nathan said. Inside <laughs> really terrace, there, I didn't uh, even notice the art. So, Nathan wants the uh, teaser for our upcoming playthrough. Um, we are playing on the dice tower this. Friday midday Australian time or Thursday evening 9 p.m. Miami time. We're going to play Spirit Island, the cooperative game. We're going to try kind of like harder difficulties, not the easiest one. Yep, so Might fail miserably. Yep, so that's part of the No Strings Attached series on the Dice, Dice Tower. Tower. Yeah. And then this time next week in our normal Meeple University slot. Mm -hmm. We will play. I don't know. <laughs> no. You tell me. Um, <laughs> I just turn up. <laughs> it's like, hey, we're gonna play this. Um, we've got a few coming, so we are going to play Hadrian's Wall, which is the new Garfield games. It's flip and right, so it's similar to this one, mm -hmm. but I'm not too sure it's going to be this coming weekend or the weekend after. Yeah, that'll uh, depend on when it arrives. Yes, and there's another one. Um, we're also waiting for pandemic season zero so we're gonna try to play that 
as well um, as our live playthrough. And we are going to play uh, just a few um, options that we're going to do. We're going to we're going to play Honga. We're going to play Catalan. We're going to play um, Fairness, which is you know it's uh, taking a while to reach us. Fairness would be a good game. It's Hobby World. Um, and or we're going to play. It's not like all of them we're going to play next weekend. Um, or what's the other one? Smartphone. Yeah, smartphone would be a nice one as well. Yeah, so we've got, we got a few on the horizon, but it will depend on what uh, arrives in the next week. So. That's a tease, yeah. So, a, a, a big teaser, because it doesn't. So, so check yeah. out maybe like in a few days to our YouTube channel, Nipple University. Um, we'll have it listed there. Yeah. Um, it's here. So um, And also, uh, everyone, if you could please hit the like button. It will help us. And subscribe if you haven't already done so. Um, so you get notification of this live stream and giveaway and that sort of thing. Um, also on social media, you'll see if, you know, uh, announcement of what's what's coming. So there are times it's like, oh, I have to schedule last minute. And so there are times where, oh, yeah, I know what I'm going to play in a month's time. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and yes, so uh, photographers um, currently, photographers heroes are currently, is currently on Kickstarter. So check it out. Um, I think I put the link as well here. I've got a short and sweet video um, in this channel. Um, and, and the winner, which we are going to announce shortly, last minute to enter, uh, fill up the form. You're going to draw it now in a few minutes time. And that winner will receive Cartographer's Heroes, the game, when it is fulfilled. Yep, so it'll be a... Uh... The prize is a pledge, and so you'll probably be contacted to go into the pledge manager. Maybe, yeah, I'm not sure. We'll just check with Tim later. And um, one more thing, and just saying thank you to Tim, who is also on um, on the chat, uh, helping us from uh, Chandlerworth Games. Thanks, Tim, for answering the questions. Yes, and, thanks for coming along once again. Yeah, and the thicker theme, uh, which helps thank us you. with the chat, yeah, on here and then the board game arena Twitch. So um, they're also based in Melbourne, like us, uh, yeah. not Florida, in Australia. Um, and they uh, they have YouTube channels, so check them out. Yes. Oh, and then now. So it's a, a big um, you know, the battle between the theme of the game and the the mechanics. Yes. That's, uh, that's really the the theme of what they're all about. So yeah. check them out. So at uh, one, if you hear us, um, you need to send uh, fill up the form, not email. Sorry, I'm just looking at this. Uh, make sure that there's no uh, double up as well. Uh, oh no, I got it, Tuan. Yeah. Thank you, Tuan. We've received your form, so I'm going to delete your email. Yeah. And I am going to go and count in here. Uh, let's see. So everyone's entry here. I'm going to mark as 100. So there are 44 entries that I'm going to do. What I'll do, so we're going to count this together. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go to setup, uh, cartographers, heroes. Yes, Tara. I ran out of things to say. <laughs> Awkward. Normally uh, I have patter planned for when you set this up. Yeah. There so there you go. So cartographers, heroes, and uh, what's the number again? 44. 44. So I'm going to put it, you can hear it, see it there in the side of parent. Da, da, da. 44. 44. So 44 entry. And see if I got everything. Yeah, it's good luck, everybody. Good luck. Uh, what was the highest score? I don't know. Taron's 128, I think. I had 128, yeah. Yep. I saw a 100 and, uh, 100 and something. 111, I think I saw through on the list. Yeah. Um, it's disappeared, my thing. Uh. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't, I forgot to hit, uh, okay. All right, so last chance, I'm just checking, 44, yep. Okay. Okay. Sorry, that's like trademark, I shouldn't do that. Uh, so this is like, I think it is, yeah, probably. We, hmm? we started this last week, so we used this page of things. So I can just shake it, and you can see it there. Parent, would you like to click to uh, draw this? Yep, let's do it. Okay, yeah. Did that work? Yep. Yes. And the winner is number? Number 10. 10. Okay, let's count together. Let me just 
switch the camera uh, the screen first and then all right so this is the entry what it looks like um you fill out the form i get it here in my email inbox so 44 what yeah so from the bottom so one two three four five six seven eight yep so you want to see your name in two names time nine ten sandy hasler sandy you are the winner so you say public name is sandy hasler uh password is correct nullos um you are the winner i'm just gonna switch it off so i can have a look and confirm um this is this competition is worldwide so sandy is uh doesn't matter where sandy is yep we sandy did, will get um, it i forget to say that at the start but yes when it's worldwide i think otherwise i would say that. yes congratulations sandy yeah, 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 yeah. has a lot um the password is password is correct uh now and yep. i've got email so i'll email you back after this and you will uh yes you'll be in on a pledge for cartographers hero so congratulations you'll be able to play this um I, th I think this will become a classic game of this era yeah um, and so you'll have yeah. yeah this new and challenging little expansion to it yeah so probably like start if you want uh, less challenging you start with the the lower one i mean the easier one and then move to the other one yep and yeah Sounds that good. is i guess that is it so thanks everybody for um joining us in the chat and hey sandy is there hello yeah. um so we'll, we'll email you um after this uh congratulations and next week don't forget a uh, similar time slot then we'll decide later what we're going to play and um, just watch out our youtube channel if you can subscribe you'll get notification yeah. um and we've got a probably bunch of people in the chat um and what else there and thanks to thunder Wars games for helping yes. us with entering and then the giveaway and to think of themer as well yes for getting in on the chat room with us uh is it it Taren? that is it that's it until next time hopefully thanks everybody have a good day bye bye